My name's Dan Goldman, and I'm a cartoonist. Um, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan Goldman, and I make comics. I mean, I'm a graphic novelist. That's what they say now. I uh, was born in Detroit, Michigan. I grew up and spent most of my life in Miami, Florida. And I've been a New Yorker for about 10 years now. This little spot of town makes me feel like I'm very far away from anything and anyone that I know. It has this quality of being different and even somehow more real. It's a place that I, I can go and kind of channel my, my messy muse and find all kinds of details, you know, in, in, the, in the sidewalk and, you know, painted on the sides of buildings. It's very interesting for me to, uh, to just walk around and pull ideas and slap them into new comics. I've been drawing since I was a kid. Uh, I've been drawing with pens and brushes most of my life and then about five or six years ago I went entirely digital which changed everything for me. I felt like, um, like Jimi Hendrix plugging in for the first time. I found my instrument and uh, all of a sudden I could get the effects that I was reaching for and uh, unable to achieve with just my, my little monkey fingers. All of a sudden with a computer and the uh, option to undo and the uh, ability to work in, in vector art and to have unlimited brushes and paint colors and uh, graphic design options, suddenly I could do what I always wanted to do, which was blend the kind of comics I love with the kind of magazine illustration and graphic design and collage work that I'm into and kind of bring it all back together with the narrative language of comics. The other thing about digital that's really great is that, that you can create comics that don't look like anything else before, which I think is the most interesting thing about art or music or whatever, is the idea that you as the artist can push it forward. A lot of my work has been political or satirical. I, I think I like satirical a little more than straight political. Um, I think it has a longer shelf life. I think it's important if you're, you know, if you're going to get up to the mic, you, you, you got to say something. And the world is a mess. And uh, for me, comics are my music. I mean, every book I do is a, it's a Clash record or a, you know, a Most Def record or, or whatever. That's the voice that I, I'm using to, to speak about the times that I live in and, and the people that surround me. I think that having a criticism and a celebration should be equal parts of whatever it is that you're doing. And try to advance the conversation about the times that we're living in a little more, whether you're doing it in a, you know, with, with, with words or pictures or both. Every new project is a new style, and every new style is a new exploration of an idea. Whether that idea comes from the story or it comes from the tools that you're using to tell the story, everything is a new opportunity to go crazy, and I, I like to go crazy. <laughs> it's important to me to not hit the same notes. I, I, I think that's boring. I, I think the biggest nightmare for an artist would be to be a member of the Rolling Stones, where every night you gotta get up and play fucking Satisfaction one more time. I can't imagine playing Satisfaction every night of my life for 40 years. I, I think that's death. I love the song, don't get me wrong, but I, I would not want to be in that band. I like doing short, finite stories. And every time one is done and the audience is applauding, you get to do something completely different next. Stay tuned, stay with me, you know, audience, um, because we're gonna, we're gonna do something completely different every time.